Whew. Man, I'm all, I'm all tuckered out. I'm using muscles I didn't even know I had. <laughs> oh, I thought it was pretty much in shape, but uh, you know, contorting your your body in certain different ways and getting through the crawl holes and and just different things really takes it out of you. And when I woke up this morning, oh, I was, I was pretty tuckered out. Huh. I was sore last night. I'm sore this morning, but I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. All right. Whew. Get my bearings here. I, I'm going to leave you right here. I think you can see everything I'm going to do this from this point. Ooh. It's kind of tricky setting the tripod up. Here and that one again. Oh. Okay. I guess I can move my wire. I just move my wire down here and get it out of the way. I'm not going to cut it yet. I'm going to kind of hold it up there where I think it needs to go. I don't. I don't have to cut it just yet at all. All right. What happened to my staples? Where did my staple box go? Here it is. Oh, <laughs> my knee pad. Ah, ah, got it. I keep, I keep threatening to throw this particular knee pad away because it's so beat up, but it's, it's still. Still ticking. Okay. So I could have left this uh, insulation up when I put the other uh, wire in, but I didn't, and that's okay. Hey, no problemos. Here I'm just stapling right over, right over where the other wire was. I guess I can, I can get it back in there. And this time I'm gonna not staple it over the top of the other one. Ooh, this was the tricky one because it's back in there so far. I'm gonna have to go up higher. the last wire going into this box so I can pull this insulation back down. Resituate it. I'm not going to get too wild about making all this insulation on the floor or this, the ceiling of the attic, the floor inside, perfect because I'm going to end up later on uh, when I don't have anything else to do and I've got all my lights set up and everything. I'll come back down here, reposition the insulation in certain areas and where I'm having wire that's missing, I can install some of those little, those little wires and bend those up in there. And I noticed there's a couple, there's a couple places. In fact, I did, I did a video of inspecting the uh, the crawl area of your house or something. I, I don't know what I'm going to title it just yet, but you look on my uh, look on my channel. I'll, I'll have those on my channel. And I came down here and took a look at all kinds of stuff, uh, looking at wood. So you're not supposed to have any loose bits of wood or anything or, or wood shavings or anything down here because then 
then uh, that's termite food. And see how see how the they left it before. Look at look at all these shavings. All this stuff should be cleaned up. Look look at all the stuff down here, mind you. See all that? All those wood shavings have to be out of there. Any little pieces of wood's got to be out of there. This two by six that shouldn't have been there. Those two by a uh, two by six and a two by four shouldn't be there. And uh, garbage shouldn't be down here. Here's a can. I I see every once in a while I see nails. See, that's from a nail gun. I could use those nails later on for something. They got wire straps here. You're just not supposed to have any of that kind of stuff down here. And uh, I noticed there's also some copper pipes for the water lines that I'm going to put uh, insulation pipe wrap on. And there's a couple places where, uh, like, see the, the air conditioning duct where it goes through here. This Y is off. See how? See how it goes this way and that way, and there's a metal, there's a metal Y here. And see if I look up here, I can see it. See right there? That's, that should be wrapped with insulation. So what does that tell me? That tells me they skimped on the insulation. They should have, they should have put another wrap around there. And I can get some of this thin insulation. See how wide it is? It comes in a roll. You can buy that at the store, I think. I've, I've never really looked for it, so I don't know if it's at a Home Depot or Lowe's or something somewhere like that, but if not you can go to an air conditioning supply yard and get it or you can take some insulation Some extra insulation if you have and you can peel it down You can peel it down and then you can use you can use little bits You can use little bits of that It's a little bit more Tricky to do that. This stuff is a little bit more stout but see this metal showing this other duct over here is showing that all that stuff all should be wrapped up And so this needs a couple little more spins of that stuff And I'm gonna I'm gonna end up doing stuff like that and when I do up I'm, I'm sure I'll make more videos at least I won't have to crawl around uh, Without flipping light switches on or electrical outlets right now I've got uh, three extension cords plugged in all the way up to the deck one of the decks and fish it down there every every day I come down here that's how I have to do it every night I've got to unplug it all lease the stuff outside so I can lock up take it off the deck unplug it off the deck take it in because because it gets to about 20 degrees at night and so I got to pull that off and uh, see there there's another there's another Y right there and it looks like it's short just a little bit see there's metal right in there see that that's supposed to be covered up man it's it's like they uh they were skimping on this stuff like they were going to retire on a little bit of extra insulation wrap that they weren't going to have to use and they did that on each job and they figured in in a thousand jobs they'd be able to retire from all the money they saved from with the insulation i mean good golly miss molly the, uh, something like that as big as that pipe is there's the main trunk line and then it wides there's one here and one there you see that comes off of a y they should have spun two or three more rows of that and made it wider and uh overlapped it and then and then strapped it but they didn't so stuff like that i'll, I'll be coming back and and checking and and uh i'll make i'll make videos of that and Man, I'm gonna have a nice place to work too. Uh, plenty of light down here and all, and all kinds of good stuff going on. All right. Watch, you watch for those videos. You might, you might have uh, an area like this underneath your house. You might think, you know what? I can go underneath there too. Joe's gonna show me how to, how to go underneath the house and and inspect that and. Uh, Hey, you can fix those things. Oh yeah, if, if you get somebody else in here, they're gonna charge you an arm and a leg to do that. If you want, you want, you can do that. But uh, maybe you don't, you don't wanna spend your money that way. You wanna spend it on something else. Do it yourself. Ah, uh, make sure I don't stab the, the cable. Okay.
I'm overlapping right on top of, of the other one and I, I see it's got a little slack and that's fine. I don't have to get it too tight. Okay, see now I can pull it exactly where I want it, see? Not wasting all kinds of wire. And uh, that's how you do it. Cut that off. Pull it back. Put a little bit of a curly cue in it. So you got it in the hole and it comes right, it comes right through the box where it needs to go. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna staple that one off to the side of the other one. And within six inches of the box, see I'm having a hard time with this one because the the studs so so hard. Boy, all right. I don't like that one. That was that was pretty funky. I put try another one here. Okay. All right. So that does it for this box. Before I get ready to make it up. Now, I'm not going to make it up just yet. Does it really matter? I've got the one with the power coming in. And I've got black electrical tape on it and I can remember I can remember that, but if I was doing a whole house or something, does it matter? Does it matter to me? Because I I'm going to put an electrical outlet here. I could either put an electrical outlet or I could put a blank plate there and use it as a junction box. But I'm putting it, I'm, I'm going to use it as a junction box and I'm going to put an electrical outlet here because I might as well, right? It's not costing me hardly anything to put this electrical outlet there like a buck because this was like 55 cents. This was 35 cents, less than, less than a dollar because I'm using the old style uh, electrical outlet and stuff. And so because I'm putting an electrical outlet, I don't have to distinguish which wire is which when I get ready to make up the box. I'll explain that to you later. But if this was like uh, where a light switch was or something like that, the actual wire that goes up to the light, I would put a curly cue in it like that. And then I would just leave it there so I know when I make up the box that this is the one that goes up to the lights. Now I'll have to do that to the box that I just installed. Okay, and we're gonna be going over to that box um, right now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make this up yet. I'm gonna, we're gonna go over there. I'm gonna run uh, some more wire to the lights. Speaking of the lights, and because I'm over on this side, I've gotta figure out uh, where I wanna put those boxes, right? And I guess that's going to be the next step of our project. Whew. And I'm still working here, but when I get that done, I'll have that all cleaned up. I assured her, yes, when I get all done, it's going to look like I was never here. And that's the goal every time I do a project, and hopefully that's yours too. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.